In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a new website for your business, even if you've never done it before. And I'll walk you step-by-step step through how to turn your new business website into a sales and marketing machine. So if you've got a business and you still don't have a website that you're proud of, then you're really gonna like this video because I'm gonna go over the top five things that your website needs to have. I'll show you how to optimize it for search engines and what kind of content works best. And I'll show you what may be the coolest thing of all, which is where you can get both your website and your website hosting for absolutely 100% free, both now and for forever. That's right, my friend. I said completely 100% free website and hosting. Now, I appreciate that sounds way too good to be true, but stick with me. Grab a pen and some paper or the notes app on your phone, fill up your water bottle or coffee cup, and we'll get rocking and rolling. Also, a big thank you to HubSpot for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. For now, let's dive right in with the five things that your website needs to succeed, starting with number one, simple sells. Can I tell you a secret? It's something that not a lot of people know outside of the marketing world, but I feel like I can trust you. So let's keep this between us. So here's the deal. The reason that most websites don't work isn't because they're not pretty. It's not because they're not fast and it's not because they're not optimized for search, mobile or user experience. Though all of those are important. So I'm gonna be giving you tips for all of that in just a minute. No, the reason that most websites don't actually help the business out is simply because they're confusing either stuffed to the brim with everything you can think of about your business or offers, or suffering from what I call the curse of the lost treasure. That was weird, but let me explain. I want you to imagine for a second that you're a pirate and hang on. Ah, that's better. I want you to imagine for a second you're a pirate and you've got a chest of gold that you want to bury somewhere so you can come back and retrieve it later. So you draw a map, a treasure map. But because you're smarter than the average pirate, you decide to add a bunch of other treasure chests to the map, just in case somebody finds it. Now, you and I both know that the real treasure is in this chest right here, but to everybody else, all it looks like is a map full of chests. And after digging in a few spots and coming up empty handed, they'll probably just give up and move on. And that's what 98% of visitors to your website are doing. Checking out your website, not finding the treasure chest that they're looking for, and then leaving, never to be seen again. Seriously, 98% of them. And I'm not just making that statistic up as the average website out there only converts at around 2%, somewhere usually between one and 3%, depending on your industry. The solution to this then is to guide them straight to the treasure and making sure that your website content and navigation is clear and easy to follow and understand. First, by putting your main call to action, your CTA, which is the main thing you want them to do, right at the very top of the page when they first land on your website, but I'll talk more about that in just a minute. And next, by making sure you're keeping things as simple and organized as possible. This means keeping your navigation down to as few relevant pages as possible, usually home, about, services, contact, and maybe a blog if you have one. And it means making sure that you're not using fancy pants words and jargon and technical lingo if those aren't the words that your customers actually use. Or as I heard Donald Miller say, if you confuse, you'll lose. Next, let's get a little more tactical and talk about a way to structure your website for maximum impact in a way that pleases both the search engines and your visitors. Back in the day, I can't believe I just said that, back many, many, many years ago, the secret to website success and sales and customers and more traffic than you knew what to do with was all about that SEO game, which came down to a combination of acquiring backlinks and keyword stuffing. The backlinks tend to be collected en masse, often coming from less than reputable sites, but they always worked and until they didn't. But the keyword stuffing, that's where things got really interesting because it often left the website being basically completely unreadable to the average person. All right, so here's what I'm thinking we put on the homepage for the new website company. We at Acme Websites offer website design, website development, website optimization, website SEO, website build, website create, create a website, create website, 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 website. Unsurprisingly, the search engines caught on to this tactic and punished any website that was using it by banning them to the wasteland, the wasteland known as page two. And so a new strategy was born out of this, a way that would give the search engines what they needed in order to accurately and adequately rank and track your website, as well as making sure that you're providing a generally positive user experience for anybody that happens to come across your site. Now, don't get me wrong, keywords are still important, very important in fact, but you do need to be crafty and creative and make sure that you're using them in the right way so that you stay on Google's good side. Otherwise, your website is likely to suffer the same fate as those early 2010 websites, getting kicked off the first page and sent to the least visited place on the entire internet, page two. So 
Here's how to do it right. First, make sure that you're using the right keyword for your business by doing just a little bit of keyword research. You can do this through any number of different search engines or Google's Keyword Planner, or the easiest and probably fastest way is just by visiting Google Trends and typing in your business's primary keyword. Then all you have to do is compare that against other keyword options in order to choose the right one for you. Now, sometimes the difference between search volume and interest is gonna be pretty small, like you can see here with the difference between lawn irrigation and lawn sprinklers. But this isn't always the case, so make sure that you're using the language and the words and the search terms that your customers are most likely to be using. Then you wanna make sure that this main keyword shows up in four different places. The first place is the URL, which is your website's address. And this is easy to do just by creating a new page on your website and including the keyword in it. Then you also wanna make sure that you're including the keyword in the title of the page as well as the headings. Then of course, make sure to include it in the main content of the page, which is known as the body. Now, if all you did was put your main keyword and the URL and the title and the headings and the body, well, the search engines would call this thin content, which is really just content that provides little or no value at all to the viewer. So the next step then is to beef it up a little bit by adding some stuff to the page. I'm talking about more text, more images, maybe some videos if you got them, you know, just stuff. Good stuff ideally, relevant stuff, helpful stuff, but stuff nonetheless. Now, if putting all of this together sounds a little bit confusing or a little bit overwhelming, then don't worry, I've got good news. You see, I've got a little trick up my sleeve that's going to give you access to a free, easy to use website builder, as well as free hosting on which to put your new website for free. So to show you that, I wanna give a big thank you and quick message from this video's sponsor, HubSpot, and quickly introduce you to HubSpot's free CMS tools. Here's the deal. Your website is one of the most important tools you have to craft a delightful customer experience and grow your business. But trying to build a website yourself can be a nightmare without technical knowledge or coding skills. So this is where HubSpot's free CMS tool steps in by empowering you to build your very own business website quickly and easily with flexible themes, a drag and drop page editor, premium cloud hosting for absolutely free, but more on that in just a second, plus forms, live chat, and website analytics that allow you to see and actually understand understand what's working. Okay, now let's talk cost. After all, there's nothing worse than signing up for a free 14 day trial only to later realize after hours of blood, sweat and tears that things just weren't as you were expecting. And that free trial turns into two weeks of sunk costs. This is why HubSpot's free content management system tools are 100% free forever. This means you can leverage custom domains, premium hosting, and more to grow your presence online and also get access to other free HubSpot tools like email marketing, meetings, live chat, and a whole lot more. So make sure to click the link in the descriptions below right after this video and start building your very own, very free sales and customer generating website today. Okay, the next thing you need then is good hosting. So let's talk about that now and again, how to get it for free. I want you to think of your website like a brick and mortar store location, a place that customers need to drive to in order to buy something. Now, if the road out front of your store, i.e. website, is busy or backed up or blocked with traffic or construction, then it doesn't matter how good your business is because nobody's gonna be able to get there, so nobody's gonna be able to buy from you. So if your website is the actual physical store, then that road out front, that's your hosting. This is where your website lives. This is the access to it. This is the path that makes sure that customers are showing up steadily and consistently and reliably. This is why making sure that you have good, solid, solid and reliable hosting is just so incredibly important. Now, I already talked about how to get free hosting with HubSpot, but here are some other things that you wanna keep in mind when you're looking at hosting options. First, make sure your site is automatically protected with some kind of 24 seven security and threat detection, SSL and WAF, which stands for Web Application Firewall, just in case you were curious. Next, fully managed hosting is better than manual monitoring as the host can watch to make sure your website stays up and running as well as keep an eye on your website's speed and stability and security monitoring. Finally, beware hidden fees and other gotchas that may spring up out of nowhere. Again, a benefit of using a free forever hosting option like the one I have linked up in the descriptions below. Okay, with that said, Next, let's talk about turning those visitors into customers and clients with a primary CTA. Fun fact about your website that you may not have known. Your website is kind of like a dog in that it works and performs best when it has a job to do. My dog, for example, loves to play fetch and to retrieve things. He likes to pull kids on a wagon and he likes to do basically anything that I can get him to do. But 
The second I don't have a job for him, he gets all squirrely. He gets bored and chews stuff and wrecks things, all kinds of nonsense, which is exactly what happens to your website and more specifically to your visitors when they show up at your website and they're not really sure what to do. I mean, they're probably not gonna wreck the place or chew your stuff up, but they certainly won't buy or click or call or do anything that you actually want them to do. Now, I already talked about this briefly when we talked about how to simplify and streamline your website, but this next part is so important, it really does deserve a section all to itself. And that is making sure that your main call to action, also known as a CTA, the main thing that you want a visitor to your website to do is crystal clear and almost painfully obvious. For example, the main thing that I want someone to do on my website is to download a free marketing cheat sheet and to join my email list. So you can see that when you visit adamerhart.com, the very first thing you're presented with is that free marketing cheat sheet. It's not an offer to my course or to subscribe to YouTube or anything else like that. It's the cheat sheet, seriously. Take the cheat sheet. So ask yourself, what is the one main thing you want people to do when they visit your website? Then make it easy and obvious for them to do it by putting it top and front and center, right there, smack dab in the middle of your homepage. Then once that's done, it's time to add the next element to your website, which is one of the most powerful and effective ways to increase leads and sales and customers. And that way is using a simple psychological trick or hack or principle known as priming. What if I told you you could influence the kind of decisions people make when they visit on your website just through the use of simple images, essentially guiding them down the path that you feel is most beneficial, all the while having them believe that they're making their decisions out of their own free will. <laughs> it sounds sneaky, tricky, maybe even a little bit evil, but it's just basic psychology and a condition known as priming, which occurs when exposure to one idea or concept spills over and impacts your response to another related thing. But to give you an example, let me tell you a story about a study that was done by Mandolin Johnson about how the images placed on a website impacted and influenced customers' buying decisions. Here's how it worked. Participants in the study were shown a car website using one of three different background images. The first image was was green with money on it. The second image was red with flames, and the third group of people were the control group, and they were exposed to an image that was just plain white. What the researchers found though is incredibly interesting. You see, when the group of people that were exposed to the green image with money, well, they made their future purchasing decisions based on price. But the group that was primed with the red image with lots of fire and flames going on in the background, well, they made their purchase decisions based on safety. And for the white control group, well, essentially this was just the base control group, so there was no real change. But here's where things get super extra duper crazy. Yeah, that's a, that's a technical scientific term. When the participants were asked whether they believed that the background image influenced or impacted their decision in any way, they all said no. <sighs> Proof positive that these psychological principles work whether we believe in them or not, and whether we're aware of them or not. Anyway, they did it again with another website, this time with furniture. The first group was exposed to a furniture website with a background image that was mostly blue with some nice white, puffy, fluffy, comfortable looking clouds, which influenced these visitors to value quality and comfort. The second group was exposed to, again, a very similar image that was green with money, which unsurprisingly caused them to prioritize and value price more than other elements. Then, just like the time before, the third group was exposed to just a plain white background to act as a control group. Powerful stuff. And this powerful concept known as priming can be used pretty much everywhere throughout every section and page and area of your website. What's even cooler though, is that that's just one single example of a psychological principle that you can use on your website in order to increase sales and conversions. And I've got 15 more psychological triggers to share with you in this video right here. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in that next video.